Hi, Jordan here from NewHomeNotebook.com and welcome to the country towns of Legend Lakes out in McHenry. Country towns of Legend Lakes were built by Kimball Hill. Kimball Hill filed for bankruptcy on March 12th of 2009. Anyway, this is the townhome section. Uh, from the 160s to the 190s, two to three bedroom, one and a half to two and a half bath. This, uh, this development appears to be fully complete. I have not seen anything under construction, nothing for sale. So I'm assuming they've completed this. Some of these entranceways to the homes are tucked in between the garages and it looks real dark and really strange. Looks nice, but it looks strange. All the units appear to have four homes per unit. 36, maybe 40 units in total. And this is not very large. There's a couple of blocks long. It's one street that circles around. And there you have it. That was the country towns. We're gonna go find some other things here. This is the homestead section of Legend Lakes. All single family homes here. The homesteads range from the 240s to the 330s, three to four bedrooms and two into two and a half baths. Homestead section here is fully complete. There isn't a vacant lot available. Gotta let traffic by. I'm just chilling, trying to show you what's around. Very similar to the townhome section. This is like one big circle and street. They do have one little cross street going through the middle of the circle. That's it. This is another couple block long circle. It does look like it has an entrance to another part of the development there. But I'm going to be taking it right. A lot of people here have elaborate play sets in their backyards as well. Some of those play sets do not look cheap. Very similar to the way it was in the Glen out in Glenview. There's a lot of people with these elaborate play sets in their backyards. And there you have it. Time to move on to the preserves section. As big as Legend Lakes is, this place still has a lot of room to grow. I'm currently in a homestead section that is fairly undeveloped. As you can see, there's only a few homes scattered around here. Here at an intersection of Liam and Galway. Got one house here, about four over there. 
But most of this area here is vacant land. A lot of unmowed, untouched prairie grass and such. We're now at the preserve section of Legend Lakes. Homes don't appear too much different than the, than the homestead sections. What does appear different is the mailboxes. Mailboxes here are not uniform. Some are plastic, some are on wooden or metal posts. Some of them are, are in like a brick encasing. It's very unusual. They're all on one side of the street. There you go, you can start seeing some of the mailbox encased in brick. Very strange how they wouldn't make the mailboxes all uniform. Some people fishing here. And that was a preserve section. And we're still not done yet here. Like I said, I was going to go find what else is here, and look what I found. I found a fitness course in amongst the prairie grass here at Legend Lakes. This is definitely a first. I haven't seen something like this since we well, met back in the early 90s when they had the fitness course going around Highcrest Middle School, which they've taken down as of maybe 1995 or 96 or so when they rebuilt Highcrest Middle School. This is just unique. I like it. You can just relax out in the prairie grass and get your workout done. That's pretty neat. And lastly, there is another townhome section of Legend Lakes on the other side of Coran Drive. Consists of about another 15, maybe 20 townhome units. Three to four per building, mostly four it looks like. Almost looks like there's a little more room to grow here, but there's no construction going on. So. We'll see. Thank you for touring Legend Lakes with us in newhomenotebook.com.